in this video today we are going to see how we can find the origin ips which is a low hanging bug you can find it easily if you find the origin ip of a website which means you are bypassing the cloudflare of bypass or cloudfront whatever the website is and here you can see that this guy has got the reward of hundred dollar this can be an easy bug and there are some you know methods that i am going to show you that how you can find these methods helpful in order to see how you can find the you know origin ip of any website if you search you know the origin ip uh, origin ip hacker one you will find the results which all the origin ips which all are defining the origin ip using the census census is a tool which you can utilize it to find the origin ip and there are three methods that you can find the origin ip by three methods and we will discuss them one by one first of all which is called the census how you can find you know the origin ip using the census let's say this is our target website which is a nigerian university website whose name is eportal oe life dot edu dot ng and let's say we are we want to find this you know their origin ip so let's say we are going to move this and find if there is any sql injection vulnerability right if you can click at there you can see there is a bunch of technology which is being utilized at there right so there includes the waf also if you click it there it will taking some time just give it some time so this will show you that there is some sort of waf or cloudflare or whatever the waf is which blocks you to find you know certain type of vulnerability let's say if you find any sql injection vulnerability and you want to exploit it further but you are not able to see that how you can exploited because there is a waf behind that which does not allow you to extract the data further so you have to find the origin ip of the website so in order to find the origin ip what you are going to do you just have to copy this and here you can paste it right and hit search this will take some time and gives you the good results check all of the ips one by one and see which one is exactly the match of you know exactly the same match of home page of the website which is this one if you find any website any ip that is similar to this page and having all the technology stacks which is available at this page but accept the technology stack and the technology of cloudflare or waf right so we are going to see the first ip but it is saying that you are seeing the page the website is not available it does not mean that this means that this is not the origin ip we are going to see the second one in this way you can find the origin ips of the website if it reflects the exact same page which is this which is this one sorry if it reflects the same page which is this one that means that you have found the origin ip it is not the origin ip right we are going to move the next one and this way you will keep iterating and find the ip which is exactly showing the same page of the home page of the website here you can see the, there is the origin ip right the same website the same landing page you are able to see that means uh, this is the origin ip of the website so now we have found the origin ip of the website if you report it as it is this is a bug because you can mention that using these this you know origin ip there is a no cloudflare or no waf available so an attacker can easily find an xss or an sql injection vulnerability at there without doing any waf, waf bypass so it's a directly waf bypass but in order if an attacker is able to get to the eportal dot you know the original domain there is a waf behind that so that's the difference of this bug so you can mention this 
like this is the report that you can refer also that this report has got a reward as well and there is a bunch of other you know this is also considered a low hanging fruit if you find this is a straight forward waf bypass the other method we are going to see which is the one we mostly find the shodan darks right the other method is shodan how we are going to see you we just have to copy this shodan dark and paste it here this shodan dark means that the ssl cert subject cn is mean that it will grab the website from their certificates like this cn means the common name and it will grab all the websites which is having the similar you know the similar ssl certificate and this is all these are also reflecting 200 okay then it will fetch all the result if you hit the search and you will find a bunch of other ips but here i have provided the eportal.oef that's why it is showing the only ip we just have to click it there and go to this ip and see here is the available ip address which is the origin ip this was the second method and the third method method which which i am going to show you which is a tool called shodan x it is a similar one that this tool allows you to bring all the ips from the shodan without signing in to the shodan for the uh, for you know the web interface you have to sign up first in order to see the origin ip to search for that and this tool allows you to you know do the things with a very ease if you want to install it this is a simple straightforward process get clone this website get clone this using you know the command here i am i have already on the tool available if you did not know how to install it just get clone this and try to paste it here and it is saying that the shodan x already exist so what we are going to do we just have to type shodan x dash h and this will show you the commands that are necessary you know the flags that are necessary to use the shodan x let's say we are going to uh, see this website or we are going to search for this our targets origin ip using this tool so how we are going to do we just have to specify shodan x and after that domain dash domain and here you will paste your target website and it is saying that dash d is no more available what we are going to do we just have to remove the d maybe the case got an expected argument so it is unable to find you know e portals origin ip maybe the issue with that and you can give the also command the ssl if you give the command ssl this may bring the results page, but this is causing the error so you you can use this tool as well you know maybe there is a network issue or something like that we are unable to use this tool but i have found this tool that you don't need to you know log in this interface and you can use this as well so if you if you want to you know debug this uh, you know error you just have to copy this and give this to the chat gpt or you can create an issue at their github and uh, github pages that how i can solve this issue and there will be a quick response of yours that you are uh, doing some sort of this you you know here i am going to uh, create a new issue and i just quickly uh, write the error issue right and here i am going to paste it and all these issues that i have got at there i will just link them at there right in this way the you know the built on the user who has been built it the tool this will give me the response and i have submitted a new ticket so that's the way that you can uh, find the ip addresses now we are going to move uh, move to this website and we are going to find an sql injection uh, if we let's say we are going to 
give this command right this will what it will do is it will pop up an error which is an sql error that means that there is an sql injection vulnerability available and you can see that it is saying can, cannot successfully run query 5 select star from materialistics where reg number is admin this one right this means that this website is vulnerable for the same sql injection but there is a waf protection if you are going to use this right away there will be a waf protection but what if you are going to use you know the same page using this you know ip addresses so there will be no no waf available at that point right this is the helpful thing if you continue to the portal and after that you will find the portal and you have to you know move, move to the students and postgraduate or under, undergrads and here you will you know paste your command but there doesn't seem to be any waf exist so you can give these queries right away you can give you know the sql map and gauri queries I will make another video that how you can uh, escalate it further to a completely SQL injection vulnerability, right? So make sure to visit follow me at Twitter and also I have a WhatsApp group where I will teach one one on one classes. If you like my videos, my explanation, you can subscribe it at there. I'll charge only sixty dollar per month and I will give you daily one to one lectures and i have few students enrolled and there is a limited seats and if you want to you know uh, if you want to register so make sure to hit me in the whatsapp i will drop the link of the group in the description make sure to subscribe this join the group and become a part of in that in that group i will share tips and tricks and in the write-ups on the daily basis and if you afford this you know if you want to give you a one-to-one -one mentor mentoring class so don't forget to hit me so that's it i hope you enjoyed that video and make sure to thumbs up and share it with your other friends